is Ramin with Ramin Digital on YouTube and RaminDigital.com. Um, I have a new uh, Vegas Pro um, tutorial for all of our subscribers. Uh, Vegas Pro has a, has a bunch of effects as we've covered before, but uh, some of the effects are not actually effects. It's just a, a, a manipulation of tools that you can uh, apply to a footage. You saw the preview. I want to cover the, how to make a, an image slow motion, make it faster or slower. You know, if you want to highlight something, you slow it down or depending on what it is. Well, first of all, I'm using Vegas Pro 14, but this effect is in all Vegas Pro uh, software, uh, revision 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So I have a clip that is uh, there's a guy running. So I'm, I'm going to bring that to my timeline, put it on there. And then if you look at it, the guy is running on the beach, okay, with a, with a decent speed or whatever it is. It is kind of slow motion already to begin with. So it depends how they recorded this thing. But now you want to make this thing into a, like if you're doing a promo or, or, or an opener, you want to make it into a little bit more dramatic way. So I'm going to bring the same track or you can either copy it or bring it over here. So I'm just going to copy this track, put it over here. Then there is, uh, you can slow this video down depending on the frame rate that you have. This is very crucial. So like in this case, this is at 30 frames uh, you want to go with a 60. Uh, P which is 60 frames uh, progressive uh, so if you slow it down to like half speed you still get uh, 30 frame but if you use a 60 I which is interlace interlace means it's already it's skipping every other frame so you starting at 30 frames to begin with then if you s slow that to 50% you're gonna get somewhere around 20 frames or 15 20 frames which then it's gonna look jagged so there's two ways of slowing this down the easiest way is uh, just go into your uh, footage, hold the control down. When you hold the control down, uh, go at the end of the end of your clip. When you hold the this way, you, you can increase it and loop it, okay? Because we told it that it's loop. If you go at the end and hold the control down, you see your cursor changes. It puts a little bit of jagged li uh, wavy line in it, and the, the text says "time stretch," drag to stretch, as easy as is that. So hold the control down and then drag these things, go as much as you can. There are some limits uh, for a stretching, depending on the um, frame rate that you have, you can go you know, 100%, 200%, 300%. In this case, you can go max is 400%. So that means four times the regular speed. Because if you, if you hold the control down, then you can't go any further. Now, if you look at your video, you see the dude, it's just slow motion, much more dramatic. Then you can put some text on it. You can put some flashes or whatever it is. So this is the easiest way to do. Now, if you want to slow it, not slow it down that much, again, hold the control down. You can, as you can see, you can change the increase, the velocity of your footage. Like if you come out here and then you play it, it is a little bit slower, but it's not as slow. To, if you want a precise uh, speed, velocity reduction, so select your clip and then right click and go to your properties. Properties, it says playback rate. It tells you what the rate of it right now is. The normal is like one, okay? Like say we put one in here, and this is our normal clip. Now, if I can go to properties and make this one to 0.5, that means I want half reduction I mean velocity by 50%, which is half of it. So of course, my video is gonna get stretched. You see when I go, it got stretched this much. So you can do it either way, go with this or we go with the properties. Uh, the maximum that you can do is say um, 0.25, which is 400% in reverse. Anything smaller than that, you cannot do it. So I have another clip, I wanna show you another one. So I have another clip in here, which is a, a watermelon, <laughs> this is a cool one. Watermelon exploding, okay. It is a slow motion, I already slowed it down a little bit because it was going so fast. You couldn't see anything the bullet actually goes through it so now you want to slow this thing down to make it a dramatic so again go to your end of your clip hold the click down see if you don't it's a time event and as soon as you hold the control you hit it and hold it down it says time stretch then stretch this thing as much as you can which is the 400 percent now we're going to put them right next together so your first version is a normal speed and then the next one it's a slow motion one, which is much, much more dramatic. 
Um, a, a, again, tr a, try, try this tool, try with all different variation on any photos, like the photos you're picking up your kids from school, coming out of the bus stop, as soon as they step out of the bus, go normal speed, then from there, cut, the, cut your clip, and then ex extend the thing so it makes it a dramatic one. I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you use it, and uh, as usual, don't forget to please uh, like and subscribe so I can bring you more uh, tutorials like this. Thank you.